Hello Internet! I am RD Lady and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to extract models and textures from PlayStation 2 games. This tutorial is a bit long, so I will split it in two videos. In this video I'm gonna show how to extract the textures from PlayStation 2 games and in the next video I'm gonna show you how to extract the models from PlayStation 2 games. Okay, but before we start I need to tell you something very important about this tutorial. Typically, I try to bring here methods that can be used to extract models and textures from most of games that belong to a platform. But in the specific case of PlayStation 2, the model and texture extraction method is a little bit complicated. The companies that develop games for PlayStation 2, they usually use their own file format and their own encryption methods. So 3D models and textures for games of PlayStation 2 will have different formats and different encryptions and compressions depending on what company worked on that game. So this makes the extraction process very complicated and difficult. Each company, each game works with a different file format. So after months of research, this is the only method that I found that can overcome this obstacle of many file formats by using a PlayStation 2 emulator as extraction source. Unfortunately, this method is not very efficient. I have tried so far six games and three or four of them worked. I was able to extract their models. So it has about 50% of chance of working. But this was the best generic method that I could find for extracting textures and models from PlayStation 2 games. So now let's start with the best method that we have. To extract the textures, we're gonna use a tool named Text Mode or Text Mod. So let's download and set up text mod to do the extraction of the textures. Now that I download the text mod, I'm gonna move it to the desktop area so it's gonna be easier to work with it. And text mod comes compressed in a zip format file, so we're gonna just extract it now. For extracting this file, you can use WinRAR, WinZip, or any other decompressor tool. So text mod works like this. It will intercept the textures that are rendered by a PlayStation 2 emulator. So now we have to download the PlayStation 2 emulator that will work together with text mod. And the PlayStation 2 emulator that we're gonna use is PCSX2. But we're gonna download a specific version of this emulator, the version 0.9.8. Because this version is the only version that is gonna work later for us when we're gonna try to extract the 3D models in the next video. So let's download the PCSX2. And since I download the portable version, I just have to extract this emulator to a folder and after that I have to download a BIOS that will work together with the emulator. There are many PlayStation 2 BIOS files available online. You can find them in any emulator websites. So after we downloaded the BIOS files, we just have to extract them to a BIOS folder that we can create inside the emulator folder. Thank you. 
now that we have downloaded both TextMod and the PlayStation 2 emulator, now let's open and set up TextMod to extract the game textures. So the first thing we have to do to set up TextMod is to click on the tab Login Mode. And here we have to select which program will be monitored and intercepted by TextMod to extract its textures. In our case, we just have to select our PlayStation 2 emulator. As output format for the textures, I'm selecting BMP, but you can select any format. And for the capture key or the log width key, we have to select a key that is not used as a shortcut key by the emulator. In my case, I'm choosing the F11 key. And the default output folder is an output folder inside the text mod folder. So I'm just gonna leave this as default. And when we extract the textures, these textures will be saved inside an output folder that is inside text mod folder. After that, we just have to click in run and the PlayStation 2 emulator will run through the text mod. When we open the emulator for the first time, we just have to set some default settings by clicking Next. And then we have to select one of those BIOS that we have just downloaded, and then we just click in Finish. And once we open the emulator, we're gonna select which game we want to emulate. Here I'm gonna use Resident Evil 4 as an example. I'm not gonna show you how to download Resident Evil 4, but you can download that from any torrent website. And I'm just gonna show here my video plugin configuration. I'm using the GDS X9 plugin with these settings here, but these settings should be the default ones, so you should not worry about that. So let's run the game and let's skip to a part where are the textures that we want to extract. So text mod works like this. Every time a given texture is selected for extraction, it will be showing in green. So an object that has a selected texture will be green. This is how TextMod shows us which is the texture that is selected for extraction. So we can use the minus and plus keys to browse through the textures, minus to go back and plus to go forward, until we see the texture that we want to extract selected, which means we keep pressing plus or minus until we see the texture that we want in green. When the texture that we want to extract is green, then we finally can press F11 or the shortcut key to save the texture. So this is how it works. And I'll keep doing this cycle of going through the textures, pressing plus or minus until I find my texture that I want in green and then I'll press F11 to save it. I will repeat this until I have all the textures that I want and all the textures that I want will be saved in the output folder inside TextMod folder.
now that I extracted all the textures that I want, we can see here that the textures don't look good. It seems that the alpha channels got inverted somehow. Leon's hair, for example, should be brown, but it's kind of bluish. So it seems that the red and blue colors got inverted. All the textures are going to look wrong like that when you extract them using text mod. So I'm going to show you a method to fix it. And we're going to fix it using GIMP. So let's download and run GIMP. So here in GIMP, let's open the texture that we want to fix. After opening the texture that we want to fix, we're going to go here in the color menu and then in components and then we're gonna click in channel mixer here in the color mixer tool we're gonna first select the output channel of the color red and then we're gonna set the red color as zero and the blue color as 100 And now we're going to do exactly the opposite to the output channel blue. We're going to select the blue output channel and then we're going to set the red color to 100 and the blue color to 0. So by performing these steps, we were able to invert the color channels and our texture finally looks correct. And now that we fixed this texture, we're going to export it to any image format that we want. In my case here, I'm going to export it as TGA, but you can select any other format. And now that you learn how to fix the textures, you just have to repeat this process to all the textures that you have extracted using TextMod. And this is how you extract textures from PlayStation 2 games. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to extract the models from PlayStation 2 games. As I mentioned it before, this is the best generic method that I could find that could work for a large number of games. This method is efficient when compared to other methods that depend on specific scripts that require programming skills, for example. But this method is far away from being perfect and it doesn't work for all the games. But unfortunately, this was the best method that I could find after a long time of research. Please don't forget to give a like if you like this video and subscribe to this channel to receive more tutorials. So I see you in the next part of this tutorial where I'm gonna show you how to extract the models from PlayStation 2 games. See you next time!